Uh, speaking of uh, speaking of subcontracting, uh, you aren't you aren't here in the green room today. It's a little bit of an awkward experience. Speaking of relationships being upgraded, Spencer's is my choice, of course. I decided. Then there's Adam Goldberg, who 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 upgrades our relationship at his discretion. Yeah. Uh, he took a took a new step today. He uh, kind of he he was outside the green room, and I came to the green room, and I walked in, and I I I I I, I left the green room door open because I didn't want to close it on his face. I was just going to the fridge, and he walked in, and he started pitching me a little a little segment that he that he wants to do. Uh, uh, and, and he was in the green room, but he did. He did after a while. Is it he called said, McGathy's Game Corner. Uh, <laughs> he said he, he yeah, Adam Goldberg like has a has a has a segment that he wants to do. I think that he has provided for Armantown as much as he's taken away. Perhaps he's, he's <laughs> oh certainly he's provided more certainly. Oh, yeah. I think the I think the benefit out, has outweighed the cost <laughs> of, 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 of of having him around. Uh, and and he did eventually after he he said his piece. I my silence as I poured my vodka. He 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 waited just to just before I had to say it, and he kind of excused himself and left the green room. So he's he's that's good. We should reward that behavior. He's, oh, yeah, that, 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 that didn't go the direction I thought it was going to go. No, no, yeah, he didn't. He wasn't. He, he's not on the bottom of my car right now. Uh, like like he's 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 he's. he's He's still keeping himself within certain boundaries, I think, and, yeah. uh, and, and and providing us with a lot of pleasure and fascination. And, and, and also, we just don't know. If you don't give him what he wants, like, and then there's an incident that involves, I don't know, like a tower and a rifle. Like, <laughs> who do we have to blame but ourselves? And who can say that we didn't see it coming? Who can say that we don't have 16 episodes of, of he's, recording he's, sessions? He's over there stroking his little, little proto beard. <laughs> All right, let's bring Adam Goldberg up for the Adam Goldberg segment. That's all we'll call it. Yo, yo, yo. Adam Goldberg here with a dick situation. My parents have been fucked and due to strangulation. They weren't able to speak, but you know they'd have said, Dan Harmon, you're better read than this. Sometimes a librarian needs a squeeze, and that's true in here with an internal rhyme freeze. Hey, this isn't a segment. I'm just being coy. Dan needs to get parents fucked on your boy. Yeah. Vincent Price. Oh. Vincent Price. Oh. <laughs> situation from the nerdy boy. He yes. had a lot of words and he said oh hey. and Dan went to parents and that was said and parents went with Dan and all three went to bed. Oh. <laughs> Creepy. A developmental disorder. <laughs> Descended on your stage in a real form. The inability to recognize social cues. <laughs> Flocking like a hurricane of brown semen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Vincent. Vincent. Stop it. All right. Sorry about Vincent Price. A I, hurricane can flock. I, I just, listen, I, I, Vincent Price has been dead a long time, and uh, it's not. It's not helping his uh, his his mad science dropping. His his. Oh, all right. Solid. 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 <laughs> solid. Back back to the the parent fucking well on this one. Let's, that, went, let's, that went parent fucking well. When we went back, were you the sitting there? You, you were sitting there, kind of writing a little bit in your head. You were writing a little rap in your head. No, I wasn't. I was trying to update this, which is. All right. Anyone what? here like Prairie Home Companion? No. Yeah. Yes, I didn't give you enough time to respond there. Uh, bad social cue on that no, one. No, I, I, think the, I think the answer was no. <laughs> Good, because I'm gonna tear it a new asshole. Oh shit, Garrison Keeler, you hear it? Are you listening to this? Yo, 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 yo. It's Lake Wobegon. Can... Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> wow. We, I, 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 feel, I feel like you making fun of me, Jeff, is the best part of your week. I haven't said and anything. You have great I haven't said anything. I know. You're savoring it. You're waiting. Because oh, the no, minute yeah. you make fun no, of I'm, me, that's I'm like a, I'm like a puma on a limb right now. We're right? <laughs> ready to pounce. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Uh, it's it's been a quiet week in Lake Harmon Town, California, my hometown. Wait, so wait, you're not pitching the bit. You're actually going to do the no, bit. No, I'm going to do the bits. Oh, oh yeah, okay. no, he pitched in the green room. I pitched, right. I pitched the bit, and they were they, they But were, I was so I was so distracted by the social nervousness of like Adam Goldberg's in the green room and he's just pitching me something. I, so I didn't really hear the pitch, so I just like, well, I was, we'll bring was you up. A warning. I got to get you know. I've been scouting out towers. You know. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> Been smoking a lot of squeeb squab and just you know. <laughs> All right, what's what's the what's the segment? It's a uh, quiet we, uh, news from Lake Harmontown. Right. What's the what's the elevator pitch? 
<laughs> I don't think Erickson Keeler can sue me over a podcast. Is the the elevator pitch? Okay. okay. All right. I have no idea what that means. Uh, I'll take I'll take ten episodes. Okay. <laughs> I can do uh, sex. All right, no, fuck it. For better or for worse, Let's here do we it. go. Do you, do you want some play-in music? Like, um, a, like do, you have, do you have I, anything folksy? Just uh, yeah, I think folksy. Uh, yeah. I, 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 let's see. yeah, I got something. I mean, you want like down homey kind of folksy? Sure, that would be spectacular. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, <laughs> second. No. I applaud your restraint because the easy laugh would have been to just hit the hip hop too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You you are uh, you are a craftsman. I'm comfortable. You know, You're like I, a Chinese acrobat. <laughs> You're really bad at math. What's that? What? 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 That's, that's what? why they you know, have the, chi- the Chinese uh, acrobatics team is notoriously bad at math. That's why they oh I like to acrobatics. This might not be apropos. It might not be fitting for the. For, I'm, I'm going to go tiki on this one. So okay. here you are. Nope. Oh, no 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 no. <laughs> It's been a quiet week in Lake Harmontown, California, my hometown. Autumn has come to Lake Harmontown, dropping the thermostat to a frosty 62 degrees. You sometimes have to wear a sweater if you go out at night, which is bothersome for the more athletic among us. Jeff Davis, comptroller Jeff Davis, is even considering turning on the heat at his apartment, but instead had them send over another batch of girls. (laughs) Jeff Davis... uh, a fabulous good sport recently won the world record for saying, I don't normally say this to girls, but you know, he may not have to touch that thermostat until spring. <laughs> this week is Thanksgiving, an important time for Is this fan news. fiction? Like, uh, is, is shit about to get slashy? Monday night is erotic fan fiction. Is this Harmon Davis slash? Is... Huh? It's going that way, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. he, 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 it's actually uh, Dan slash Jeff's dad. Oh, uh, right, of course, yeah. Dan's, the, the, the no. oh, Dan, Dan's been fucking my dad and my mom for years. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, sorry, continue. <laughs> this week is Thanksgiving, an important week for Lake Harmonians, all of them who can't afford plane tickets home or putting their $10 on the barrel, frantically Facebooking before the show, trying to find out which dinner party to attend. Fedora was talking to Cherus earlier, wondering if it's worth driving to Santa Monica to avoid having to make her own cranberry sauce. <laughs> he says it is if he, she can avoid the taking the 405. <laughs> It's a time of change for Armenians. They're wondering if they're going to colonize the moon this year. And if Jeff Blue will do flight refunds. Everyone's planning a Christmas. I don't have the, I don't have the same garrulous, joyful voice that he does, but I think this is going pretty well. You drink, you drink wonderfully. <laughs> well, this much material at his pace would be like, you know. He goes 15 minutes. I'm going to get this under 150, minus self-comments. They're wondering if they're going to colonize the moon this year and if Jeff Blue will do flight refunds, if that's the case. Everyone's planning a Christmas return to their colder states unless it becomes really crazy and post for Wolverine. People are really putting their hopes up after X-Men First Class. They're saying, it did a lot right, that movie. It did a lot right. <laughs> it's time for winter coffee here in Harmontown. All the new flavors of coffee are in. The one with mint, winter mint, peppermint, coffee cans, and... And coffee meetings, which aren't officially business and, or dating or anything really, it can be quite fun until one person or another says the word so. Or, I know why we're both here, or offers to buy lunch. Then there's that one ad, one-on-one aspect to them. If there's three people, you can check to see if you've got any <laughs> Facebook friend invites. But with two, that's a sign of rudeness. Coffee is a tricky thing in Harmontown, at least to drink. Page two. <laughs> Second page. One Armenian chase was putting 20 bucks into a broke friend's gas tank in Glendale, as one does, and got a call to meet in Studio City. Got right back in his car and drove to meet someone for what wasn't a business meeting, but rather a guilt trip on taking too long to get from Glendale to Studio City. And it started to rain. So, Dan, what do you want to do later on after the show? (laughs) I'm sorry, sorry, go ahead. (laughs) And it started to rain when he was driving, the first time it rained in Los Angeles this autumn. When he got there, Jace was harangued for taking so long as it's assumed that Glendale and Studio City are adjacent and rain doesn't slow down L.A. traffic uncontrollably or that he can be available in zero minutes' time for not even a business meeting, just an offer to potentially maybe help a pitch for a pilot he was jerked around during. This meeting went predictably terribly, the way we're all hoping the new Wolverine doesn't. There's a whole lot in line for the franchise. And it rained a lot on Lake Harmontown in general. People stood in torrential lines Sunday for buying squeeb squab. Wet, but definitely worth it, but definitely wet. 
and Jace was tempted to think about the squeaky windshield wiper on his car, the Goldsmobile. But he's waiting on some money, you know. If it gets down to 50 degrees, he may need to buy a winter jacket. That's the news from Lake Harmontown, California, my hometown, where the men are handsome and the women are mostly Aaron. All right. Adam Goldberg. All right. Yeah. Oh, wow. uh, uh, he's, ri- he's, he's ripping up his, uh, his segment. I post, uh, yeah. We got some humanity out of him. Back, by, back, to, the, back to the tower. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this guy, strategically, up and gone. Like, that was, I wasn't going to say anything when he left at the beginning. Did you get a grilled cheese? No, I wouldn't. Oh, yeah. You had to go I, pay I, the no. I hate Adam Goldberg no, no, meter. You, you broke yeah, my he heart. Paid, I was like, where's he going? He paid the meter in dimes. <laughs> yeah. Just to make sure. He's like, yes. <laughs> all right. Adam Goldberg, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> hey, lo- love him or hate him? <laughs> or in my case, do both. <laughs> he's, well, no, he's I, don't, a, I don't hate you, Adam. A, I love a, a human you. Human coin landing on its edge every every week. <laughs> I just don't know. Like, I'm, 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 is, is he the villain or am I the villain? Like, I, <laughs> It's like a like a mirror in, in, in a in a in a in a mirror in a in a um, in a sea cucumber. Yeah. 